All right, what's going on guys? This is Maureen and Dave from the Erie Better Beer Bureau. Uh, back at you with another review. We got one from uh, Terrapin. They're out of Athens, Georgia. This is their Cinnamon Rolled Wake and Bake, which is their Imperial Coffee Oatmeal Stout Wake and Bake. Um, it has some natural and artificial flavors added to it. You know, they're claiming it's basically a cinnamon roll version of Wake and Bake. So, so. I'm thinking maybe cinnamon and vanilla type flavors added to it. Runs in at 9.4. Yep. And uh, they use, on the side, it did say Jittery Joe's Coffee. Um, I believe also out of Georgia. I wow. definitely get some cinnamon. Yeah. I believe I get some coffee and a little bit of vanilla in the background. Yeah. I get a little roastiness from the stout. Yeah, That's it's nice. got an it aroma. It smells kind of creamy. Yeah. Even, like. yeah, I agree. Like a little bit of like coffee creamer in there or something yeah. like that. But yeah, all the notes you said, you know, definitely coffee, cinnamon, vanilla, for sure. The coffee and the cinnamon, I think, are... Like, they're dominant. They're the more dominant oh, flavors. Oh, absolutely. But... Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, that's pretty nice. I mean, I get the coffee right up front, but the cinnamon's not far behind. And it's a nice balance of uh, coffee and cinnamon, actually. Mm -hmm. Then it fades into kind of a little bit of a sweetness. Like a sweetness, yep. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't quite call it vanilla, but it's j definitely... It has is vanilla like hints. A little sure. like type of, yeah, like, you know, kind of a sugary, vanilla sweetness towards the end, yeah. And I do get, like, kind of a... You know, it's definitely not the... Um, thickest mouthfeel but it's good for a stout and uh but it's more along the creamy lines like you could tell it's like an oatmeal stout right you know i mean the more i sip it i do get like just a hint of that kind of artificial vibe going I do, on yeah i do too. you know i i didn't want it to be mm -hmm. there um you know and i and honestly i don't really see the need for it like no here's it's my not thing like there's a shortage of cinnamon sticks. such a yeah, exactly or vanilla or for vanilla, that matter right. so you know you have such an amazing great beer you know to me why take the the route of you know even using any artificial flavors at all yeah all right, for the cinnamon rolled wake and bake from Carapin, I'm going to give it a 3.75. I had high expectations for this beer because I think that wake and bake is by far and away Terrapin's yes. best beer. And I haven't had wake and bake in a couple years, to be honest with you guys. Uh, but this is one of the things that bothers me about Terrapin, and I can taste it in this beer. And, uh, you know, it's it's still a good beer because wake and bake's just such a solid base beer. But I, I could even smell it right from the get-go, that it wasn't straight cinnamon and vanilla, that there's other things going on in here. And, uh, you know... I, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to fluff my score. It's a 3.75 for me. Yeah, I'm even a, a touch lower than that. I'm kind of going between a 3.25 and a 3.5. You know, I'm going to give it a th the 3.5 because I feel the base beer is that good. Yeah. And doesn't deserve to be knocked that bad. But, boy, every sip I take taste, the f it just tastes fake to me. Right. And it's just not doing it for me at mm -hmm. all. Um, I agree. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go a three point five. At, boy, if they used uh, natural, real cinnamon sticks and like some real vanilla ac extract or even heaven forbid vanilla beans, uh, boy, this beer could be great. Oh, absolutely. I mean, it, it could be well into the fours. Yeah, because there's even a little taste on the linger that's starting to get me right it's now. It's like powdery that I'm not almost. It's like, yeah, yeah, it's like an artificial, like a plasticky, powdery kind of taste. That yeah, yeah, and I'm. I mean, I'm, I'm even... I'll be kicking myself later for not going a little lower. Yeah, I mean, I'm, uh, like I said, I'm, I'm between 3.25 and 3.5, oh. and boy, I'm yeah, kind of... Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, dude, that, that sip was... I'm right going yet. down. Mm -hmm. You know, it's going downhill by the minute for me. And this thing, I think, rates pretty solid. It does. I and think here's it's at the least thing. a 92 or higher. The guy that sent these to me says that, I mean, they pretty much he was saying they're really limited and as soon as his bottle shop gets them they fly right off the shelf you know and he happened to snag me a bottle right boy, boy I, I think those people are like possibly regretting it once they get <laughs> right, home yeah so, um but there you have it i think um yeah like i said i'm i'm, I'm running closer to the 3.25 range as yeah. we speak yeah i'm like talking myself into it right. as I yeah this no thing, i so. agree we're gonna drink another beer after this one <laughs> yeah <laughs> till next time guys cheers, cheers.